years ano po kayo? He's retiring actually this year ano? Uh, so, focus na lang siya sa lecturing pa sa you know, traveling around and uh, lecturing and ang uh, kanya sa mga passion niya ay photography. So, siya rin po yung nagturo sa amin sa photography. <laughs> uh, uh, he travels around sa iba-ibang mga lugar dito sa Pilipinas like uh, churches and to take pictures. Uh, kasama namin siya noon, nagpunta sa sa Quiapo para mag-picture nung uh, procession ng uh, Black Nazarene. So, he has many interests and uh, mahilig siya sa music pero yung music wala hilig sa kanya <laughs> uh, mahilig siya sa mga bands mga siya nag-encourage sa amin mag tutok noon sa sa ATS and marami siya mga uh, ministry sa mga may mga band members and I remember even to uh, mga transgender mayroon siya mga ministry with Ida. So, marami kami maganda na laala when uh, we were at uh, Asian Theological Seminary with uh, Kuya Boy. Kuya Boy ang tawag namin sa kanya. So, without uh, much more explanation, uh, please welcome Professor Lorenzo Bautista. Pag-uusapan natin natin ay review ng Trinity para magkaroon tayo ng perspective. Nakatuwa, itong ating panampalataya uh, ayaw na natin ang purpose ko ay madami doon. Parang dumating lang sa atin. Tinanggap natin o namanan natin. And uh, sometimes it may take some effort to really own it or perhaps understand it enough so that we can say we understand it. At kung totoo yun sa ibang mga doktrina, lalong-lalo na totoo yun sa Trinity. And then, meron pa kayong dagdag na drama yan na rito, di ba? Bilang kasalisayan ng Church na nabato. Hindi naman kayo dating na Trinitaya. Kaya tayo magtatagpo siguro sa gitna. Kayo, hindi dati Trinitaya, naging Trinitaya. Ako naman, ang gagawin sa Trinitaya, para mo wala sa akin Trinity. So, okay na okay yung sa lahat natin. Hindi naman masisisi dahil actually, we simply pretend we understand the Trinity. Pero as a matter of fact, it's an impossible doctrine. Diba? It has many contradictions in terms if we may use a uh, philosophical way of describing it. Contradiction in terms uh, at marami ko na uh, irreversible and, 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 and unsolvable. No? Well, at least uh, in why mga evangelical, sometimes we put it under, sweep it under the rug, di ba? Dahil at any rate, our faith is full of mysteries. No? <laughs> so, uh, kung may isa pang mystery dyan, uh, doesn't matter much dahil puro mystery naman yung tayo ng pagkala. Well, I, I, I said that half jokingly because uh, for us theologians, we make it a habit not to take for granted things that we say and things that we believe. No? And so as much as possible, 
we exert our best effort to actually make sense of them. And it is my burden as a theological educator to actually encourage uh, my students, my listeners, my audience, my own church to actually grapple with their statement of faith in order, in order for them to actually appreciate uh, the shape of their faith, uh, the actual contents of their faith, to the extent that we're able to understand them. And then if that is impossible, because statements of faith can be quite complicated, um, we don't lose hope because we return to the scriptures uh, and uh, what can be more edifying than paying close attention to the teachings of Jesus Christ as recorded in the Gospels and reiterated in the epistles. No? As a matter of fact, I will recommend that no? so that um, we must put this thing in proper perspective. The, the doctrine, the statement of faith, is not the ultimate authority. Although, uh, church-wise, it is acting that way. No? Of course, um, which then is our final authority, but the most important document to define our faith? Scripture. Scripture. No? So, you. <laughs> And uh, of course, marami may hirap din bahagi sa, sa Biblia. Pero, ang dami no, napakalinaw, no? so malinaw that uh, we're confronted by the very clarity of what we're supposed to do, what we are supposed to put into our hearts, no? and, and how we must actually live consistent with the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ. Kaya sabi ni Mark Twain, maraming mahirap na bahay sa Biblia, iba mahirap maintindihan. Pero sapat na yung madaling maintindihan para pagbatayan ng kahulukan at direksyon ng buhay natin. Okay yun. So, we start yan. But at any rate, para dumiretso na tayo sa pinamalingan ng Trinity, which is your interest, I assume, we go to the Council of Nicaea, Uh, during the time of uh, Emperor Constantine, uh, Emperor Constantine, Queen Isabel, no, the same Tabutan of the Emperor, uh, uh, being friendly officials of Christianity, even to the point of actually making Christianity the recognized, uh, recognized religion of the empire. Not only one of the recognized religions, but the religion of the empire. So, may hirap ipaliwanan din ang kaunti yun, pero that was a historical fact that happened. And then, at this point, when the Emperor of Constantine, ay hindi makasundusundo yung mga obispo sa maraming doktrina. Lalo mga doon na yun ang pinakontroversyal na doktrina. At gusto kong diwa natin kung anong masaktong ugnayan na kawa sa anak. Ang kayo tinanong, uh, kayo ba ay monotheist o trinitarian? Paano niyo sinasagot yun? Kayo ba ay monotheist o trinitarian? Monotheist kayo? Hindi kayo trinitarian? Baka ano, kailangan na padaanin muli sa doktrina ng class. Actually, parang nangyari nga kayo sa Unitarian, parang nga. Kung mga things take yung emphasis, and then Trinity is not in entire class, so hindi classic Unitarian yung dating doktrina na eventually naging um, historic classic uh, training. So, paano niya ang sagutin niyo? Monotistic ba kayo o training tayo? Wala na, walang pila sa buha na. Sorry. Ang pangasang sabi ko. Okay. Pwede naman, mga mabuhay pa rin sa 
Green Dynamo Constantine using his powers and using uh, his causal relationship to the bishops and episcopacies, the episcopacies are the jurisdictions of the bishops scattered all throughout the empire, he called, he convened a uh, council, it's called the Council of Nicaea, 325 in the Roman era. Nicaea, because it was held in, in that particular place, which is kind of a summer house of the emperor. So can you imagine inviting all the Sigatman of this book? Having a constant thing. So, welcome to Ilha, sa palasyo, sa summer palace ko. Papakater ako, gano'n. So, ni-imagine ko kung ano yung menu eh. Yung dahil lang yun. Sponsor ng ano, ng Roman Empire. Diba? Ito yung obispo na dati, persecuted ka before funds of it. Tapos itong obispo, yung emperador na ngayon, nagpapatawag ng council, gagawin sa alam-alakan niya na lugar. Yung royal kitchen crew, ang okay-gater. Stick well. Kayo kasi hindi kayo magkasundo-sundo eh. Dapat simplihan natin yung teology natin. Ang gulo na nang uusapan nyo. Kayo kayo mga obispo. Hindi sa inyo salita niyo. Kung gusto ko ngayon na limbawa, ito ang sinasambo ni Diyos at ang si Jesus na panggit na sa kanilang palatay niyo. Ayusin nyo nga yan. O gumawa kayo ng statement para yan na yung magiging official na statement para hindi na magkagulo. Wow. You know, emperador, interesado sa iyo, theological unity, you know? Bakit kaya? Hindi ka nagdaba talaga siya sa theology o interesado siya sa political order? Or do? Hindi natin matiyak, no? Dahil wala nang nang pinapaliwanag sa Constantine tungkol sa whether hilip niya talaga yun. Pero he was interested, indubitably, undoubtedly, because the Christians play a very important role for the cohesion of the empire. At marahil, marahil may, may dahilan din kung bakit na-attract siya sa Christianity gayong, uh, for the longest time. Sari-saring Diyos na mo i-iral. Sari-saring templo. Sari-saring mga ministro sa saldote. Yung nagpo-promote ng iba-iba. Diyos, no? suddenly, natipuhan niya yung Christianity. Kaya siguro, sa sensitivity na rin ni Constantine, napaka-strict smile itong tao na ito eh. No? Kailangan maging malupit, malupit na. No? Kung kinakailangan maging uh, pa-diplomasya, pa-diplomasya. No? Dara, of course, alam naman natin, kung ang politisya ang magaling bumasa, no? eh di mas, dahil rin sa survival team, ang daming uh, pretenders to the throne eh. No? Kasi kung nalabi, apparently, if one of the wise, nakita niyo yung mga Christianity, uh, ang daming uh, naglalago lang sa kapangyarihan eh. Pero napansin niya, marami mga Christians na kumikilos at hindi sila primarily nakikipagsabaya dun sa power place. No? Sabi siguro ay kung saan ito, eh, kung pagkasap ko, nandito sa mga dati nating dati nating inaapya. Well, then, demonstrated the strength of spirit. No? And uh, pagka may mga emergency, may mga plagues, ano sila yung dinatatakot na mag-risk ang kabila ng sarili niya at para tulungan ko ng mesa niya. So siguro yung... Uh, and then the rest will be his desire for Christianity to put its act together even in the realm of theological controversies and then hence the, 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 the necessity for calling a council that will actually uh, standardize statements about Jesus Christ, especially his relationship to the Father. Kaya lang mabas ito. Pero tingnan natin, eto, magkatapos ang hindi simple na natin dyan. Dahil, ang gulong nga ng mga bishop, can you imagine kung samasamayin ng mga bishop, ang gulong nga, di ba? So, ang po. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of all things, this world and this world. Paano siya? One God. Ang mga patulisin kayo, ayaw niyo kanina one God. Hindi, kayo yung nagsimula ng one God. Tama pala kayo, ha? We believe in the one God, the Father of Almighty, maker of all things, visible and invisible, creator, God, as Father. At 
mieli nám sa dávať. A ty sa dáme. A my dáme ten peniaz, si ho dáme niekde, tak je problém. Henry Kovan bol Jews, right? Samo to. Že za New Testament trap. A ten of the father, the big I think is also a biblical term. Of the earliest Jews, likely, would be Psalm 110 and Psalm 2. In the Old Testament, referring to the monarchy, the monarch. Only God, and that is from the substance of the Father, God from God, light from light, very God from very God, God and not me. Upon substance with the Father, to whom all things were made, both in heaven and on earth, who for us men and for our salvation, this is not having women done, for us men and women, and for our salvation came down and was incarnate, was made man, suffered, rose again on the third day, ascended into heaven, is coming to judge the living in the world and in the Holy Spirit. Ang kalutong pa yan, kaya para makumpleto na natin, eh, lagayan natin yung kalutong. And also say there was a time when he was not, and before he was begotten, he was not, and he came into being from nothing. Or those who pretended the Son of God is of another substance, or created, or alterable, or mutable, Catholic, Stolid church places under a curse. Let them be anathema. Yung yung mga paboritong ending ng mga classic tweets ng araw para bantaan yung mga sasalaman dito. Alam mo nila ang seryosohan to. We're not playing with words here. We're dead serious about the position of the terms and the better behave, you better align yourself. No? To, to, henceforth, this will be how it will be if we are to properly express the true relationship between Son and Father in the Godhead. So, I'm um, going to talk about the total of the document. I'm going to talk about the Ito ay siya, 325. Baka may gusto ba yung itanong ko. Ito na ako. At laruhin.
yun ay mga pamilya, familial terms. No? Um, kaya, yun ba ay hiniram ko lang sa karanasan ng kaibigan ang tao dito sa lupa na may pamilya tayo, kung kaya kung iisip tayo ng pinakamalapit na ugnayan para maihambing natin at mas maintindihan ang ugnayan ni Jesus na tumatawag sa Diyos na ano, ang makuha nila ay yung ito nga, yung metaphor ng family. Kaya, si Jesus ang anak at ang iisang Diyos ang anak at Jesus ay ipingang ng anak ng Ama. So yung bigatin ay ipingang ng anak. Literally speaking. Now, whether you can, that is conceivable, whether it is understandable or imaginable, um, mahirap literally, di ba? Ay God is a spirit, so mahirap pa imagine what your activity exact on spirit. But in terms of the relationship that, uh, that Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, came from the first person, may also be understood along the lines of how, well, how we speak of the Son uh, being begotten by a Father, humanly speaking. And generally, whenever we use a metaphor, human metaphor, the human metaphor will be ultimately inadequate, may hanggaran siya. So, pwede lang natin sabihin. Well, ito lang ang magagamit natin medyo pamilya para ma-imagine natin yung ugnayan ng dalo, ay ito na muna yung gamitin natin. Pero hindi exact ang gamit nyo. Okay ba yan? Wala ka na kasi magagamit eh. <laughs> Oo, oh, dahil sa iyo, ito na ako ng Diyos na father. Kasi, uh, ilang dahil sa pinalitin din natin. Ama. Pero iniiwasan nila na may creaturely si Jesus. Dahil, di ba, di ba si Adam may likha? So, uh, so, creature si Adam. At tayo ang lahat ay creature. Ngayon, wag naman si Jesus ay tao. Iniiwasan nila gamitin nyo. God created Jesus. Or made Jesus. So, ang ginamit nila, ang mas sangko, sa king nila, ay yung ipinangalak, hindi nilikha. So, bigatin, not made. Iyong, iyong function po, um, hinirang na metaphor sa pamilya, sa karanasan ng tao. So, ang ibig sabihin, inilalagay sa ibang antas si Jesus, sa ibang grupo, sa ibang class, no? ang hindi class, grupo ng mga tao nilikha. Matamat siya ay tao rin. Ay yung mahirap na tao rin siya. Pero hindi siya tulad nating tao na nilika. Siya ay tao mismo ang ipinanganap ng Diyos. So, ang dami ka, mabuti na ito sa inyo. Bigatan ang total, only bigatan. O incarnate. Yung incarnate naman, matagal na lang may mas matagal na pinanggalingan niyo sa New Testament, around uh, the year 100, at the, the end of the first century, there's a writer who wrote the fourth gospel and three epistles. And in uh, tradition na tawag natin doon ay si John, no? tawag natin sa literature na ang John, ang mga material. Kasi John, chapter 1, pero in the beginning was the Word, was with God, and the Word was God. Tapos, a few verses down the line, the Word became flesh. Yun yung uh, incarnate sa lasa lahat ng ito. So, dalawa yung term, no? Bigatin, so, made flesh. So, pwede nga meeting yun sa official na takbo ng theological terms, official ng simula. Ngayon, pagka sinabing po ginawa sa Jesus, o nilikha sa Jesus, hindi yan niya, hindi not in resonance with the official way of talking about the relationship between Jesus and God. How about substance? Ito? Substance for substance. 
ayoko. Ngayon, uh, actually, ito yung isa sa pinaka uh, key term dito, no? uh, pinaka-controversial, lalo na yung of one substance with the father. Ayoko. Sa kalagay na So, ay hiwasan, no? Bigaten. Huwag mong gagamitin yung may. Yung biget, ito yung act of God. In which she begets the son. Tapos, of what substance with the father? Go on the old things. Kaya ka mong isang kaibigan ko recently, just last week, nag-text siya sa akin. Ano po itatagalog yung homo-ocious at yung homo-ocious, no? Dahil ang, uh, ang nanalo dito, dahil na may debate, si, si Athanasius na uh, Alexander M. Yu, kung kanyang pinanggaling ng Eskwela ng Theology. Samantalang doon sa East, sa Antioch, mayroong Arius na uh, ang gusto, homoy usios. Yung homoy usios of God substance, yung homoy usios ay of similar substance. So, mas absolute yung equation ng major ng uh, pagka-Diyos na Jesus kesa doon sa salitang kita gusto ng gabitin ni Arius. So, ano yan eh. Touch and go yan eh. No? So, mara ba sa initial na kung sa survey mo, sa kaniwala nila, mas marami with increase ang doon. No? <laughs> kung magagawa ka ng whole survey, sayang wala pang pulsation mo na yan. Anak ba? Wala nga, manalo yung ano eh. Uh, yung kay Arius, ito lang namin follower ni Arius. Pero, ano di ito? Touch and go siya. Actually, nakatulong ang pagdidasadya. Wala nga niyo kung sino. Arius dead hit sila eh. Potopinus. Sino yung factor? But eventually, clinch it for Athanasius and Hormosius. Siyempre, kung sino yung nagkikater, yun yung nakusap. Uy, ako na ako. Ang obvious mo lang. Welcome na welcome kayo. Tapos pinagluto kayo ng royal chef. Kasi ang gulo-gulo pa nito ay kung magkaisa yung language, hindi magkaiba. Ang pinaramdam ni Constantine na in favor siya doon sa Alexandrian side rather than the Antiochian side at the nation, rather than the area, na nalo yun. Ano yung providence ba yun? No, politics. Yun ako yun ang pag-isipan, pag-isipan. Kahit hindi masagot, hindi natin masagot yun. Who knows providence, diba? That is one of the dramas. Ang drama rin ang theology, no? Ano na yun? Tapos ako yun. Paano nila inyente niya? Yung mga uh, hindi ano yung maniniwala dito, yung anathema. They take their, seri- they, their te- te- theology seriously. <coughs> Ayun sa ATS, pagka nag-lecture ako ngayon ito, ano tulad na yun, natutulog na si Parisi, yung tutulog na yung ginagawa niya, nasa theology situation. He's my friend, so he can be part of my, my job. Pero no, you have to be serious. Ito yung statement ng creed. You know, they're not depart from the language of the creed. Otherwise, you're anathema. And then, if you are tried by an ecclesiastical court and found guilty, you might lose your life. You might die burning in the stake, no? So, mga bumalik tayo sa ganong panahon para may interest ang mga tao sa theology. Kataya ang ating mga profession dito. Ngayon, eh, parang hirap na natin gumawa ng trabaho eh. Okay, ano yung chika? Genetic, 
Porque na lama lá para a não? Os olhos de boca lá para a Alexander the Green, mga conquistador, pinaaral kay Aristotle, ang tradisyon na yun, no? Uh, kaya to be educated, to be, is to be educated along the philosophical tradition of Plato. Everything, every philosophy, is, all philosophy is not of Plato, and such will make a command there. Ngayon, uh, paano pumasok itong philosophy na ito dito? Doon sa such stance, no? Metaphysics tawag yan, eh, di ba? Uh, what, you, beyond what you can see uh, but pertaining to basic reality. Alam mo ba, ang um, ano tawag natin dito? Chair? Juan? No? Uh, pagka ba kumuha ko natin yun, tatawagin nyo rin pang chair yun? Yung brown? Ba't yung tatawag na chair eh, saan talagang ibang iba yung kulay, ibang iba yung material, no? chair pa rin. So, parang taka sa, sa pag-iisip-isip nito ang mga Gregong philosopher. Sa so, tingin nila, may idea ka na uh, malalim na nakatimok sa'yo, kaya nakikilala mo chair yan, kahit na iba-ibang size, no? iba-ibang kulay, iba-ibang material, iba-ibang bigat. So, may mga katangian siya, no? kulay, texture, bigat, lapad, taras, plastic, kahoy. Um, pero sa kabilang pagkakaiba-iba na yun, pwede mo silang kawagi essentially chair. Pagkakaiba-iba no? na yun, pwede mo kagad mapaliwanan. So, gagawa sila ng teori kung bakit nanatiling, nakikilala mo yun, kahit hindi mo pag-isipan, kahoy, steel, iron, bronze, uh, plastic, fiberglass, iba-ibang kulay, iba-ibang all shapes and sizes of the chair. But, meron kang intuition to um, chair-ness, no? Yun yung substance. Kaya, um, si Jesus, may problema kasi, yung mga pilosopo, yung paano mo yung Diyos si Jesus? Nakikita mo, no? Ano ang kaya niya kung Diyos siya? Ano yung pagiging Diyos niya kung para sa pagiging Diyos ng Ama? At so, yun yung isang philosophical problem. So, ginamit nila yun. In terms of essence, they're actually exactly alike. All of the accidents by which you sense them may actually differ considerably. So, yun yung yun Kinabi din lang ito to sa consubstantiation sa something na kinabi na tatanggali ba ito ng substantiation kung saan kita damit ito. Sa Eucharist, pagka pinag-alance na yung performative language ng ritual, 
hot as corpus, no? but this is my body. Magiging body na yun. Pero nakita ko ba naging body? The element, the accidents of being bred are retained, no? But the essence, which you do not see, change upon the pronouncement. This is my body. Transubstantiation yun, without the elements being changed. The elements, the texture ng ang tinapay, yung lambot niya, yung lasa niya, hindi siya maglalasa ng flesh, di ba? So, you're actually exposed to the accidents. And yet, by faith, you assume that the substance has changed, right? It was declared to be the body, the corpus, no? of uh, the one uh, saying it. Siyempre, ulit yan na sabi mo, seso sa sa hipalistic deal. So, yun yung substance. So, um, kaya are you? Sa, sa tingin niya, mayroon ko naman sabihin mo of equal essence, no? It is of exact sense, of similar essence ang uh, gusto kong gamitin. Homoy, usyo, siyang homoy, yun yung of like substance. Yung homo, ito yung of, of one substance, no? Mas equal. As absolute yung equation no? of one substance kesa sa of similar substance. Ang hugi, ayon sa inang pala, ayon sa pala, eventually si Emperor Lohan, ay homo usios. Hence, the form of the cream. Pero after that, may drama pa eh, no? Uh, mayroong parang um, touch and go between the counter automations and the counter barriers. Maraming pang intrigahan ng yari. Tili, dahil daw na, pero tinatili yung nakasulat sa film. So, namatay na lahat. Ito yung natin. Tama na yun. Kedis considers one of the Catholic creeds, together with Apostle's Creed, no? the Amazon Creed, tapos uh, yung Calcedonian Creed. Meron din ang mukote yung maya maya. Doon naman sa tanong kung paano nagkakaw na yung pagkatao pagkadyo sa isang persona ni Kristo. So, ayon ba kayo? Ngayon ang ngayon yung doktrina. At ba't kayo pa tayo? Sorry. It's a historical document. So, yung iba ang natuwiran ay ano ang sabi naman na we come from basically the same church. Kasi ito ay sa kasaysaya. Hindi ko na makilala ko may isang iba-ibang ayaw ng Christianity. Ito may ano ba na may BBC. Tapos dito, may arong yung may ajay ng Hero Crest na Southern Baptist at ayaw ng American Baptist. Mainline Baptist. Tapos kayo, hindi rin namin buwari kung anong klaseng Christiano kayo. Siguro ganun din ang tingin nyo sa akin, klaseng mga... Pero pagka nagkaisa tayo, more or less ito yung ating pinaniwalaan, klaseng creed, for his historic advantage, we can identify with this. Ngayon, kung yung isang congregation, ay magsasabing si Jesus ay tao lamang. No? How are you prepared to actually uh, uh, enlarge your embrace in order to actually consider them your part of the larger body of Christianity? Yung iba, hihinto dito. No? So, ang pwede lang natin masabihin kasama natin sa communion ay yung pwede kung meron pa dito. So that's one function of the creed. World Vision, in Dawa, World Vision is a faith-based organization which has actually achieved a lot in terms of the lead work and advocacy of child rights and class development work. Meron kalabita dito sa Pilipinas. Chances are, sila yung unang-unang darating na organisado. Alam nila yung gagawin nila. Alam nila yung mga dapat equipment. May expertise sila sa personal. Kaya, very substantial yung tulong nila sa sa relief work. Ngayon, they have to work with the 
they encourage partnering with Christian churches. Pero, uh, very flexible sila rito, mga Baptist ka, Lutheran ka, Methodist, Episcopal, Philippine Independent Church, Catholic, dahil lahat tayo ang galing dyan, o mag-agree tayo dyan, pwede tayo magtulungan. Of course, there is a considerable difference between the Lutheran and the Calvinist Presbyterian Reform. Okay, because both can actually affix their signature under the creed, then they become formally part of, of the community operation redefined along the lines of this creed. For example, if you is a for a while, at a certain stage, nasa ambal na basta yung ambit ng meron eh, no? Kung kasaysayan ng worldwide church, yung earlier form ng nagiging worldwide church. Pero now, kung baga sa darong trumpo, di ba may deal tayo sa darong trumpo, yung chate, i-impact natin doon kasi dahil yung tayo ng bilog. Tapos lahat ng nasa doon, game yan. Tapos pagka napalabas ko, out yun. So ito yung isang bigo. Meron na sa labas, meron na sa bigo. Okay, ang isang tanong ay, if only for that, you can appreciate the function of the creed. But in terms of clarifying your faith, in terms of actually making the experience of Jesus meaningful, Um, may ganun bang dagdag na function itong cream? O naglalaro lang itong cream na to sa isip na naghahanap ng operational precision so that you can identify kung sino yung pwede mo organizationally kasamahin. O ituring na Bro, sis. Honestly, eh di tayo ba kayo dito pagka binasa ko ito parang wala? Amen, bro. Parang hindi pa. Of course, baka meron naman parang hindi bago lang tayo. Hindi pa, baka naman pagka pinagbulayan natin yan, tuwing mawabasa natin yan, gusto natin mag-play. Pero the fact that it appeals to something precise rather than suggestive, no? rather than symbolic, rather than demanding uh, a liturgical declare, <coughs> ibang function ng creed, no? this is a function that may direct address to our pious impulses, psychologically speaking. May mga prayer tayo, like words there, well, may mga doxologies tayo, may mga hymns like in Philippians 2. May baba din ka sa dito. Pero iba yung language sa lahat. The language is liturgical, the language is pastoral, the language is devotional. This one is propositional, logical, or attempting to be propositional, logical, precise. And therefore appeals to the finer, the fine tuning happening in the realm of the mind rather than the heart that worships. Yeah, whether one can integrate both the mind and the heart for an informed worship, some would look at it as an idea. Yeah, pagka in-apply mo to sa New Testament, tapos sabay yung mga New Testament dito, okay ba yung pagkakaroon na yan? Pag ginamit mo yan sa standard of precise Orthodox doctrine. Siguri mo lahat ng no? statements about Jesus in New Testament. Mapasaya kaya yung New Testament sa free? It's an awkward question to this, di ba? Dahil sa tradisyon, it's actually the scriptures that is a higher ranking authority than the creed. In other words, the creed must be judged by scripture rather than uh, vice versa. Pero natanong ko yun dahil The New Testament is also an unyielding uh, place for 
this type of pronouncement. The New Testament language, the texture of the New Testament language is so rough and so raw and so diverse, that's hard to actually create something uh, that approximates the consistency, the logical consistency of the creed of the statement. <coughs> Lord, another thing you might persuade in 16, uh, he must uh, he must reign until uh, everything is put under his feet. First reign in 16. When, when, when the point comes, when he has put everything under his feet, and then you next stage. Say, so she has to do it. He must wait until he has put everything under his feet. And when he has done that, what's next? You open it. Ang lahat ng napagtagumpay niya sa Diyos so that God may be all in all. So lahat isasubmit, pati siya. So parang hindi ko equal sa eternity ang mangyayari niya. Parang subordinated sa Jesus. Sasabit din niya yung sarili niya so that God will be all in all. At kinaasa niya yung Diyos sa lahat-lahat at sa loong kasama at kailangan para ang Diyos sa maging lahat sa lahat. So, uh, as a matter of fact, in the intervening years before the tweet, and even after the tweet, there is a currency identified as a subordination that is subordinationist Uh, Christology, Christological heresy. Yung hindi inaaring ang ama, ang anak ay kapantay na. Uh, hindi ang ama, ang anak ay nakapailan sa ama. Doon kayo yung next year, kung pwede na yung New Testament? Lahat ng New Testament na sulat na uh, at the end, at the third, at the third of the first century. So, siguro, hindi ka natin patahan yung Johannine literature, which shows signs of being the latest addition to the New Testament. Sabihin na natin, 110. But after 110, lahat na ando. Kaya lang, hindi pa collated. Kaya nagkalat yan. May episode si Paul sa Corinth, sa Marbach, hindi lang isa. May second Corinthians, sa Bahamit. Baka apat, dalawa lang yung uh, na-preserve. No? And then, siyempre, may sinulat sa Ephesus, may sinulat sa Philippi, may Pailino, may gas, apat ng gospel, kanya-kanyang constituency yung gospel. So, nagkalat yan sa empire. So, it will take a while before the church, the organized church, would actually collect what eventually would be the 27 books of the New Testament. But by this time, by and large, uh, if not everything in there, uh, substantially the New Testament is already uh, witnessed to by the church fathers. May I report them by the last collection and the same one day of Pahikinabara and Sigma. By the way, one well, single board that the site na yung papasok sa Utah sa Mangkano at na yung i-exclude. Um, gradually, lumabas lang na yun yun eh, kung dahil sa kagagamit, and they deserve uh, which are of apostolic quality. And then, until they recognize and accept uh, the 27 books. So, by this time, marami ng mga bishops na nakabasa ng personal yung kilala natin na yung first two. And that many of them already understand na ibang iba yung fourth gospel, so one of the church fathers called the fourth gospel, the Madrid gospel, na dala ibang iba yung nagwahe niya sa first three gospels, na magkapapareha yung fathers. Gusto niyo ba yung mga parables ni Jesus? Parables? 
Ito ang ganda niya. Ang favorite niya yung mga parables. Nami-miss niyo siya pag punta niyo sa Fort Gospel. Well, wala mga parables. <laughs> o kaya kung gusto niyo, gusto niyo yung idea na itatatag yung kaharihan ng Diyos. Wow. Um, oh, versus the empire, the kingdom of power, the empire. Pagdating sa dyan, wala din yung kingdom of God. Sa mga tayo sa first three gospels, it's one of the most important terms in the preaching of Jesus. Sa mga lata, the gospel in the synoptic gospels would be the gospel of the kingdom. Mark 1.15, um, the earliest concise gospel, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the good news. Kasi kaya dyan, wala. Wala ang kingdom doon. So, yun yung diversity. The same diversity makes it uh, kind of uh, an interesting project to compare the language of the Creed of Nicaea with the language of the New Testament. When I learned that language, it speaks about Jesus and the relationship to the Father. I don't see that in the Holy Spirit. We're talking Trinity, di ba? Trinity, what happened natin ngayon? Alam naman, ang nasasabi ko pa lang, Son and Father. Ngayon. And in the Holy Spirit. Walang, di ba? Alang bitin na bitin sa Holy Spirit. Ba't kaya? So, what's my year? Ito na, bakit naging enter one of the Trinity and Holy Spirit? Kaya ko nga, walang matsap. Given us a few, the big problem is actually how to speak about the relationship between Jesus and God, the Son and the Father, given the setting of monotheism. Kaya mahirap walking yung monotheism yun eh, no? Pinag-glabo yun ang budyo yan, no? Yung monotheism. Dahil sila mismo, hindi kagod sila monotheistic. But by the time of the post-exilic, after the exam, the Second Temple of Judaism, which was the Judaism of Jesus, day, solidly, the, Jew, uh, the Jews are solidly monotheistic. <coughs> so, yung distinctive na nila yan na ipapakipagpatayan na nila yan. And then here comes Christianity. <laughs> Mayroong thing, uh, nag-tweak sila nung uh, um, monotheism to allow for Jesus being worshipped as God. Hence, uh, the exciting journey towards Nicaea. And then the Holy Spirit is uh, very underdeveloped. So, uh, in terms of quantity, quantity-wise, one the Trinitarian play, and the Bibitarian. And if you look at the uh, doxology and things in some in, in the epistles of Paul, hindi uh, laging Trinitarian. Actually, bihira maging Trinitarian. As well as, either you end it with uh, mentioning Jesus or Jesus and the Father, Binitarian. Ah, uh, tignan nyo yan in the second Corinthians, Binitarian. Uh, Holy Spirit. Yung pinaka low-key, <laughs> low-key member ng, ng trial God. Teka, ba't na ba ako ipibita rito? <laughs> Para pag iwan at pala namin ba ito, palabu eh. Para kang video na yun ako. And you can see, I'm not defending the Trinity, I'm, I'm uh, approaching it from a critical point of view. Dahil, hindi natin pwede laktawan yun. We cannot simply adapt something that we have really uh, scrutinized carefully. Otherwise, parang, uh, well, nagkakagay tayo ng hiwalayan ng parang palataya. But it is a wish we do not want to do. Dahil parang dilikha naman tayo ng Diyos na hindi ba kahiwala yung puso sa isip? Kahiwalay, pero huwag hindi masyado. <laughs> At tada, nag-aanula yung sila, di ba? Hindi mo pwede itapon yung isa. 
Så har vi en av dem som har vann hit då. Det är inte så att ställa sig, men jag har en del av det. 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 Jag Ilang lang magiging judges sa lahat ni Anderson, Mayboy, at Lo. Kaya tatlo yun eh, para hindi magtay. Dito, may kapatay tayo siya, kaya kailangan niyo. Hindi lang official na sinabi, malamang magtay break dyan si Rosin. Si Rosin. So, kung di ko ang tayo, may hirapan doon. There is difficulty there, which we should not overlook. We are including put under the ranking difficulty now. They are groping for language, so we have to admit it. They are groping for the most functional terms to use that will be meaningful and useful for the unity of the church. So, uh, constantly being the practical Um, personal governance. Kaya sa kanya, hindi na masyadong malaki yung difference. Eh. Uh, sa tingin niya, parang tama siya. Masabuti na, klarong-klaro, para wala nang pagduda na dapat worshiping si Jesus. Ito, we don't worship na eh. So why make the, the nature of Jesus different from the nature of the Father? And virtually speaking, sa tradition of liturgy, yung worship life ng church, nandun na, no? So, uh, common sense wisdom lang ni, ni, ni Constantine. Huwag na natin pagdulahin pa dahil mas nuwan siya kaya na eh, kay, kay Aris eh, to allow for, for some differences in order to actually make room for the diversity in the New Testament, like in subordination is language, no? And then, sa New Testament, ang mahirap doon, sa New Testament, walang concept ng substance. No? So it's a Greek, it's, it's coming from the developed, highly evolved Greek philosophy from the tradition of Plato around 700 years before Constantine. Uh, Mayroon ng magandang tradition and discussions uh, of philosophical discourse na ginamit dito sa 325. Pero pati kahit nang may New Testament, wala silang masyado gano'n. Kaya mas fluid yung language, undifferentiated yung language ng New Testament to borrow the word of a Trinitarian expert sa Catholic, si Bernard Lover. Para sa kanya, it's a difference between a pastoral, undifferentiated language and the differentiated language, no one's language of the, of the creed. So, hindi natin dalagdalan pa ng paliwanag yun. Ako, personally, ayoko masyadong gamitin niya, but it seems strange, it seems to put an unnecessary strain on the language of the New Testament. So, ang gagawin ko dyan, babalikan ko lang yung language ng, ng New Testament, and then define how the New Testament others to the deity of Jesus. At sa aking tingin, hindi sila umabot doon sa exact equation ng deity of Jesus and the deity of the Father. Kaya, para sa akin, uh, nung sinabi ni Jesus na I and the Father are one, naratanda niya, mayroong sinabi si Jesus on, I and the Father are one. Sa isang, ang pakalala mong salita na yun, saan mahihing kayo? Sa dyan. Kung napakalala mo, Dapat nakintan ng malalim sa isip mo, it should be one of the most, if not the most important say, to reveal the nature of Jesus. Can you imagine him say, I am the father of one? <coughs> Tayo na natandaan natin. Pero pag hinanap mo sa first three Gospels, isa-isahin mo na lahat ng sayo sa Jesus na hindi niya sinabi yun. Ano ko mapaliwanag yun? 
Não é uma hipótese, é uma história de história de história de língua. Eu acho que é uma... Para a frente de João, da Hill, me conheciam teologia da Jesus, aí, viu a Ana Deus, na nossa amiga, da mãe, na nossa amiga, da boa. Que é, continuam com o Logo Santo, aí, com o Salitão, na nossa amiga, da boa, o Catalã, o Logo. Yun yung pinakamalinaw na paraan mo ng pagbasa kung ano ang Diyos. But that is different from saying of one substance with the Father. Kaya ang invitation ni John. Diba, kung babasahin mo buti yung John 10, ito maganda na regulihin niyo sa bahay. Doin yung quiet time material. Ano ang naging response ng my June? Sina rin na kain ng fire or what? Wah, gelen, kata bahasa Arab yang mahal itu. Kalau siapa dah hilang, mau anu mai? Kamu nak hujat tulen tiga? Oh, betul. Kalau nak sepi, naik ke sana aja. Alam nak kasih wah. Kaya dini pensan ni tu siapa? Kamu dini pensan ni tu siapa? Yo, nang kaya kita nanti yo, yang struktur nang argument ni dia sebelum jam ten. Kaya nilagay yung ni John do para tignan talaga yung ibig sabihin doong kaisahan ni Jesus sa Tama. It's not of one substance with the Father ang lumalabas mo. Ano lumalabas ko hindi yun? O yun yung pwede. Ang nakatuwang isang sinabi ni Jesus sa direksyon ng Pernatwira. Hindi ba? Ba't kayo namamangha? Ba't kayo tayo eskandalo? Di ba kahit na dun sa 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 go, especially it refers to some of my God. Ah, hindi ba ginamit din sa sami yung ye are drugs, no? Doon sa dinagnan doon salita, actually, address yung sa monarchy, no? Sa vestige of an earlier terminology ascribing the beauty to the kings, no? So the ancient beauties. Pero may natinang gano'n sa sampo ko kaya pa yun. Kaya sinabi nila, huwag ka may skandalo ah, na pwedeng gamitin yung Diyos sa tao. Sapagkat nandiyan yan eh. No? Investigating mo yung, yung kasulatan. Nandiyan yan. Ngayon, tagdag pa niya. Ah, may two-prong yung argument, yung defense niya. Kung hindi nyo yan matanggap, kung titignan nyo ako, bilang isang persona, hindi persona ng Trinity, as a, as a person before you addressing you. Huwag nyo lang tignan, baka mo istambul tayo, o dahil tao nga eh, di ba? Tignan nyo yung mga gawa. Ngayon, pag tinitan nyo yung gawa ko, dahil may track record siya, ako lang mong gawa, kaya ang dami niyang sumulog sa kanya. Tama ko sa inyo, sa tingin nyo gawa yan ang uh, kasi kung may gawa niya, hindi naman nila maikaila, di ba? Na siya mga gawa niya, gawa ng kapangyarihan, gawa ng pag-ibig, gawa ng sarunungan. Diyan na lang, sabi niya, diyan na lang tayo magkakalo. Para maintindihan niyo kung ano yung I am the father or one. Ibig sabihin niya, may prime yan sa gawa eh. Mas dami niya yung gawa, no? Yung quality ng presence ko dito, kung ako ay hindi kinatawan ng Diyos. Kapag tinignan niyo yung mga gawain na yan, mahigitan niyo yung gawain ng Diyos niya. So, agency becomes the very medium by which God becomes transparent, no? At syempre, active na, active na presence yun. Hindi lang nagsasalita yun. Hindi tinitignan niyo na mga gawain niya sa isbilang sage, Bilang miracle wonder worker, bilang prophet, bilang teacher, bilang holy person. So, all those things, may track record yan, may transcript yan. And then you make a decision kung hindi mo matatagpuan ng Diyos dyan. Yan lang ang gusto niya sabihin. So, kung paparaphrase ko yun, sinasabi ni Juan dyan, 
hanap tayo ng hanap. At gusto gusto natin mapalapit sa Diyos. No? Sa halagasan natin dito na accessible, which will give you the best means, or where will you, where will you get your best bet no? for saying that you have encountered God, or you have understood God, or that you have met God. Ang gusto niyang sabihin ito, hindi lang sa Lord, ay mas dal mo mabuti si Jesus. Pakinggan mo mabuti si Jesus. Lakala mo yung dinaraan ni Jesus. That's your best bet to understand the Father. Consistent si John doon eh. Kaya yung drama ng palace na siya. Diba? Di naman niya yung palace dahil ang siya siya mga ma-orphans. Eh. Well, respect. Diba? Siya yung, yung master. Well loved. Yung rabbi yung mga wala niya. Iaanda niya yung disciples. Yung isang eksena na doon. Sino ba yung nagsabi? Si Philip ba yun? May kanina-kanya ang tanong ko sila eh. No? Ito, huli na. Bossing. No? Ipakita mo na lang sa amin ang ama. Salt na kami. Hindi mo maganda ang tanong yun. Ipakita mo lang sa amin ang ama. That will be enough for us. Paano si Tagot na yun si Sean? Lahat ang tanong yun. May alam pa lang makasolve sa iyo. Philip eh, oh sige, papakita ko sa iyo. Punta tayo dyan sa desert, papakita ko sa iyo mga may dyan. Pinabi ba niya yun, gano'n? Hindi, hindi siya nag-refer doon sa transfiguration. Huh? Which may be the best experience na wow. <laughs> Tarinig nila yung boles ng nakama na declare yun sa kayo nila. Stabbing. Tagal na natin yung magkasama. Pilipi, nagtatanong ko pa niya. Ha? Nai-insulto ako dyan. Ha? Set up. No? It's a set up. Given the skills of Jesus or rather John composing uh, a Jesus discourse. Sabi niya so, siya nakakita sa akin ay nakakita sa akin. Yun yun. Hindi itong of one substance. And that has more value sa devotion ng tao. Kaya okay, ito, tuwing mabasa ka, makinig kang mabuti. No? That your best bet to understand, confront the face of the Father. Hindi mo na pwede, hindi mo na kinakailangan kung ano pa doon. No? Di ba ang galing pong dyan no? sa distill mong essence ni Christ? That's problematic. Hindi mo talaga ito nakikita yung Diyos. Well, may you look at this, that is mystery. And yet, we keep on constructing images about God. So what will be our best bet, given our persistent attempt to picture God? Ayun, in Quento with Moses, it's total. Nandiyan siya eh, no? Napalito siya dyan. Wala siyang simula para ka ikaw na mag-accommodate ng lahat ng mga hindi mahirap alalahan na yung mga sigulat. Kaya nagtagal ang Christianity kahit huwag di iba lang isang sigulat si Jesus. Hindi niya remember, apat na major witnesses lang yung pangulekta ng mga natatanda nila. Oral tradition, no? Between 33, the death of Jesus, and say 70, wala. Oral tradition lang yun. Siyempre, kala nila magtatapos na yun. Yung do eh kapag magsusulat. Pero nung naramdaman nila, oops, parang na-miss natin yun, dapat talaga yung pangmatagal. Sulat natin yung oral tradition. And therefore, the, the gospels were born. Kali nga, nag-preach ako sa ano eh. Galing talaga ni Jesus eh. Kaya sabi niya, yung abas yung question, sino ang pinapadakila sa kaharihan? Anong ginawa ni Jesus ko? Eh, hey, nagkumuha siya ng batang maliit. Kasi <laughs> guys, nagkit na lang. Mas dito ang batang niya. Maliban na lang kayo. Maging tulad niya. Hindi kayo mga kapaso. Sa kalitan ng Diyos. Tapos tinagdali niya. Dilagyan niya ng, ng trail para what is, uh, para sagutin niya na what is in being a child? What is that virtue identified by Jesus so essential for the citizens of the kingdom? Maliba na lang kayo ay magkaroon ng kababang loob tulad na batang ito. Hindi kayo pwede. 
pumasok sa pagkakarit. Kung sino man sa inyo ang tatanggi dyan o mamaliitin yan, pero kung sino man sa inyo ang tumanggap dyan, o yung tinatanggap. <laughs> wow! Yun ang mga talagang game-changing na mga, mga panagalita ni Jesus. No? Ang sabi mo na, you will see me and sing the character. That's your best bet for understanding the character of God. Where do you see the character of God? It's in the very character of Jesus. No? The way that He taught us. Pero hindi remote yun. No? Kaya ang paborito niya, love God, so sundan na rin niya na. Love the neighbor. Nandito yung labanan. No? Wala doon sa metaphysics. Wala sa abstractions ng theology. God has to be in the form of love, very concrete in servant through, very concrete in loneliness, no? without which hindi ka makakapinta ng magandang pinta ng And then, Paris will be kind of a uh, psychological study, a uh, wow, curiosity. Ang ba sinasabi ng child psychology? Ang ba dinito yung mga bata? Bakit sila, bakit mataas yung learning curve nila? Di ba, hirap na hirap tayong mag-aaral ng language, hindi nyo lang yata mabilis mag-aaral ng language dito. Pero yung mga bata, tatabihin mo lang, no? Bakit sila ganun tabihis? Wala silang pretensions, no? Dahil so, learning is so natural, no? Na walang test. Ayaw, tatakot na takot sa test, eh, di ba? So, there later, two weeks, three weeks, one month, nakasalita mo yung bata, no? Wika mo ang kalaroon niya. Yan ang nangyari sa ATS, mga Indonesian, bata nga yung paglaro sa... Pinoy. Yung Indonesia, matututo na Pinoy. Yung mga Pinoy sa mga lahat, kuha ng mga ilang Indonesia. May humility na sila eh. May openness to truth. Mas, mas ano sila, mas um, uh, wala silang kiyeme, kung baga. Kaya optimistic din sila, di ba? Hindi sila jaded. They live in, um, in an enchanted world. May imaginasyon sila. <laughs> Mas maraming porsyento ng blame nila yung gumagana, yung parang iba yung dulce. May katotohanan yung dulce na yun. Ngayon, pagtanda mo, masyado ka ng materialistic, masyado ka ng preoccupied with the self, you're shrinking the possibilities of your mind. No? Try to hire movie, alam mo yun. Then the child psychology, bawa na. Kaya ang sinasabi niya nung dito, yung nga, observe ang ibabuti ng mga bata, gayahin. And of course, alam naman natin, hindi man nanatiling bata. Uh, the childhood is specifically the stage before loss of innocence. Uh, this is a loss of innocence, of awakening. It can be gentle, it can be rude. No? Pero dapat, nandun na tayo. No? In other words, the opposite na tayo, we, we appreciate the virtue in being a child which is very much a virtue promoted by Jesus. It's simple, you know? But if you look at it, it's the key to understanding the very core of being human and what is at stake in our projections of, of God. Now, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Eh, pagka sinabi yung merienda, oras labi yan. Ah, bago yun. Ito bago yung gusto mo nara, magtanong, because we don't want to actually lose momentum. Pagka nakabuelo tayo sa pagkatuto. The training to will always be there. Ako, you will understand my ambiguous feelings in Trinity as a doctor. Because the Trinity has a way of monopolizing discussion. Well, in throwing it in, well, paliwanag mo nga kung ano yung one self-stand, bakit bigating niya, hindi tayo mananatapapos niya, no? And it can be a challenge sa theological literacy. Kaya lang, it doesn't spill over into the kind of language, powerful, as we witness Jesus' language being powerful. Kaya po, um, there's a no deal of professional theology, you know, this may be a little better. I'd rather return to the 
text and here to you again. Of course, all the witnesses for, uh, for evangelists and maybe uh, from, from Paul. And take the words very seriously. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about. 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 Let's make this an assignment, a lifelong assignment. Let us keep on observing with keen interest the lives of children. Not only observe, but participate in their nurture. So, tayo, community tayo, magtatawagan tayo ng tatay boy, lolo boy, kuya boy, tito boy. Uh, okay lang yun. Total naman tayo. <laughs> Magkakapatid tayo on the best sense of the term. Huh? That's act as a community na nurture. And keep an eye on a special segment of the population, mainly the young, no? because they had virtues so essential, reminding us of what virtue we need to take into the kingdom. But uh, it's a lifelong life, you know? <laughs> uh, forever fascinating you who I am children. I don't know that it's not part of you. I don't know that it's not part of Nakaraming pa lang nila kay Shi yung kanilang pagkakaroon ng baby. And then my daughter, uh, ano, two, three years ang sila kasal, pero wala pa rin sila napaka-busy na itong mga Pero ako, na, kung hindi na-review ko, pinagpala kami ng magkaroon ng isa. It's amazing. Itingan ko yung day-to-day uh, development. Diwa, isip ng uh, age of innocence. And for the one thing that is the age now, awake, hopefully, uh, whether it is good or whether it is uh, gentle, nandun pa rin tayo para sa nurturing presence natin. May namit kasi kami dun sa ating mga ginagawa ni Paul. Nagtitrain sila ng pag-aalaga ng mga children. Uh, sa church. Based ito, kaano lang sa college, eh kasama siyang bulong tira pa ako, magkala-alala ng mga children. Never dito sa mga ganitong workshops, mayroong pagbabahagi din ang buhay mo to be transparent about your life and to be able to actually evaluate your own lives, di ba? To know where you are, self-knowledge, mahalaga doon sa tumuturo. At ito pa na ang babae, Uh, which is actually plays into this sermon of mine as it's an illustration it took awakening. The first seven years of her life, blissful, no? I saw in your family, very functional, very loving. Suddenly, the collapse of the Kandata and Dana, you know, and the collapse of seven years old. And from there, you know, I love you, but I have to go there. From there on, her life will be life of all oh, oh, consistently frustrating. Kaya no exercise na, simple exercise ang mga baking wishes. No? Ayaw na ayaw niya gumawa ng wish. Bakit? Well, consistently, yung wish niya laging nauuri sa disappointment. Imagine. Ano yung resources meron na yun? Itong mga ganitong reality sa kalagit na natin. Uh, virtue natin. The church being a big family. At yun siya sabi ni, ni, ni Gilas. Sino yung tumaga? Dito ang nag-aruga. Dito. Paano niyo kinagod? Yung aruga? At maganda dyan, may ex-deal dyan. Marami kang malotunin sa bata. Kaya ang sana nila mag-observe to be actively involved in nurture and at the same time care and observe the self and nurture the cell alongside the nurturing and observing of the young, of the child, that eventually a mutual benefit you. You are. Ikaw ang nagbibigay ng kalawa, ikaw ang nag-observe. Pero yung mga virtues na parang marangan nila, dapat mapasayo rin eh. Yun ang ministry naman ng bata. 
وين أخوك النرويجي؟ إلا بيلا من هيس على جيت معاهم، أو يوميلتي لوليناس، أو إلى لين ما تيجي أنا هنوز سادني ديرة سماتيو 28 سبرجيني ماتيو، all authorities been given to me not to quell the anxiety in my Make disciples of all nations, and then suddenly, they lang ang ganapin nila ang lahat ng aking iniutos bago yung assurance ng presence. And behold, I'm with you always till the end of the age. So only the divine presence through the sun. Nandun pa rin sa internalization ko ng ethics, ng lifestyle ng mga Kristiyano. Siyempre, isa sa mga teaching ito, return to childlike humility. Kailangan din tandaan yun, nandun pa rin. Hindi yung maghahatid ng ongoing presence ni Jesus. Lord, I need you always. Walang iwanan until the end of the world. Till the end of it. So that's how the Son reveals the Father. And the Holy Spirit, you know that in the Pentecostal, I'm sorry, sorry. So I'm smart. I'm actually interested in our journey to the Holy Spirit. I have a lot of material in the U.S. and I have a lot of time on time. Um, depende tayo doon sa look lang eh. Dahil si look lang yung may story ng Pentecost eh. Sabi nila mayroong more or less version si John Pentecost dahil hinihahan sila eh. No? Receive the Holy Spirit and he believe on them the Holy Spirit. But that's a different picture by which um, John described the importance of the presence of the Holy Spirit. But the function of the Holy Spirit in John is almost similar with the function of the Holy Spirit in the way the other writers in the New Testament uh, pictured uh, the, the, the function, the ministry of the Spirit. Yes, so, yet it's a Pablo or Silupas. Yung spirit, ito yung active presence ng Diyos sa buhay ng mga tao. Whether that presence is uh, amazingly full of signs and wonders, or whether the presence is so subtle that is revealed only in terms of the formation of the virtues, which is a slow. You know? The force of the Holy Spirit, ano yun? Wala namang fantastic thing. You know? Long suffering. <laughs> Oh, I get on with the catalog of all the spirits of formation and long suffering. Which is, that's why, kung titignan-tignan, parang may tatlong locus doon sa iyong transcendence ang Diyos, tawag doon ka mo. Ito isa yung visible na presence niya in the person of Jesus, who is a human being. Pero a special human being, because if you look at this human being, you you see God in His very character. So the character of God is seen in the character of Jesus. And then, itong subtlety na internalized, that always felt to be there, although minsan na express sa glossolalia, minsan sa mighty works of healing, pero kay Pablo, ang interest sa Pablo ko, hindi pa yung bongre. Ang interest pa kay Pablo ito, yung love. I show you a more excellent way. I mean, personally, just that. You know, the best manifestation of the spirit at work. First Corinthians 13. That is more Corinthians in store. And then, go on there. Wow. Papa Galeng, Maka Pamirin. Wow. The God of Solalia. Sabi ni Pablo, call me naman. Kung pagalingan dyan, baka hindi kayo mabukla sa akin. Ang dami ko niya. Pero I'd rather not to enumerate that. Mawakot niya lang ako sa sarili ko. I show you how excellent to it. 
Pero se calla suerte y no lo vas. No. Haz un espíritu. Yo no puedo despedir. Hey, no me imagino. Estoy informando. Yo no puedo decir que no, no puedo decir que no. Y la mamá de Galicia me acaba de decir. Ah, pero no va a power power de cada uno. Wala kang ganun, connect sa tao. Love, 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 neighbor pa rin ang problem sa kanya. At that means I don't want to use that for tiyakit ko lang yung Holy Spirit dahil ay paano trinity tayo. Sabay siya. Pero natin na ang ginagamit natin language yung testament hindi yung naisin. Because you know, I, you know, I go as it goes. It's good to remember this historic prayer. Let I am a very good And then we usually do not ask me. As I've been eating, I'm going to have a piece of glass in your bowl of the spirit. Pagkatao, 
ang isang esotisto. So, ang ginamit na language dyan, two natures in one person. The Trinity has three persons, diba? In the person of Jesus Christ, there are two natures, the divine and the human. Same know how the human genus hindi mo pwede sabihin the human genus ang naunaw dahil nag-iiwala yung mga yung human nature sa divine nature sa mga talagang sila dapat ay pero ang union tao nila mga ito static union pero ito yan ha we don't follow the other fathers each man to confess one and the same son our Lord Jesus Christ the same perfect in her thought it was a perfect in man who? truly God and truly man of a reasonable, rational soul. And body. And that's what we're talking about, the consubstance, the consubstance of the Father, according to the doctrine. By 6, 325, after 300 years, and consubstantial with us according to the manhood. In all things like unto us, without sin, begotten before all ages and the fire according to the Godhead. And this is another place for us in for our salvation, born of the Virgin Mary, mother of God, according to the manhood. Very relationship in that human nature, divine nature, to John. One of the same Christ, a son born only begotten to be acknowledged in, in two natures, ayun, without confusion, without change, without division, and without separation. So, pag sinabi mo, ang nauwag lamang ay yung human jiras, anong ginagawa mo yun? Dinidivide mo. O pag sinabi mo, 50% siyang human, 50% siyang divine, Anong ginagawa nyo? Nagbago yung yung nature. Naging mistis rin. Mali rin yung nandoy sa according to the standard of what we call sino. Kung sino yung nakatay, yung divide na rin. So, distinction of nature is being by comments taken away by the yun nga. Yung yung tinatawag na hypostatic. But rather, the property of each nature being to serve and concurring in one person and one subsistence. Not part of their divided into persons, but one and the same Son, the only begotten, God of Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. As the prophets from the beginning have declared concerning Him and the Lord Jesus Christ, 451 Napoleon in the creed of the Holy Father is handed down to us. Ito yung 25 yung may siya, talo ang creed. More than a hundred years. 451. So, may dagdag na creed para mas maging sophisticated pa yung language sa mahirap sa bahagi ng humanity to be in the king of Jesus. Kaya may iwasan natin ito kanina. Sa pagkasabi natin si Jesus ay hindi pala natin ang tao siya. Pero ang kaibahan niya sa kanya ng tao, pag tinitin mo ang tao ng itong Jesus, makikita mo mismo ang puso, makikita mo mismo ang loob, ang karakter ng Diyos. Diyos sa I and the Father are one. Kaya may iwasan mo yung language niya. Kaya lang, kung stricto yung gagamit niya, hindi ka pang pasal. Buti na lang, hindi na nila sinusunod sa steak yung mga hindi. Hindi kanya. Pass forward, 16th century. Noong time of reformation, nandun yung mga minuto na mga protestante, si Luder, tapos si Calvin. May isang doktoryan na yun, no? Academic. Hindi yung gusto kong language ang may siya. Ang gulo nga naman. So, gumawa siya ng language na may iwasan yung confusion ng humanity. Divinity. Tapos uh, pinapacheck na kay Calvin. Kasi siya amateur, ang tingin niya sa sarili, amateur theologian. At si Calvin yung professional. 
Ayaw siyang imit ni, ni Calvin. Pero may nagpapagis ang work niya. Nung nakita ng mga authority dyan, may nabahala sila dahil hindi lang ako is na may siya. Sixteen century na ito, hindi na ito ang panahon ni Constantine. So, dinito siya on both sides, Catholic sa uh, uh, Protestant. Nauna no, yung Catholic. And he was found guilty. Ang guilt niya ay hindi niya ang Christology niya fall short of um, Nicene. O Nicene and Calcedonian Orthodoxy. So, ang uh, hinuli siya, Ah, buti naman, matatakas siya. Mga matatakas siya, gusto pa niyang kausapin si Calvin. Doon ang alaw siya ng Geneva. Si Geneva, sa Geneva, nandun, nakalukulok yung OIC sila Calvin. Tayo na yun. <laughs> May nakakilala kay, kay Servetus. Nahuli uli siya. No? Ilitis ng court nila ng Calvin. Ang patunayan ng uli yun. No? At siyempre, uh, sinintend siya death by burning, death of the stakes. Awa naman si Calvin, sabi niya, i-commute na lang natin ang sentence, ang hirap mo, kung pagpipiliin tayo, parang uri ng karatayan ang gusto natin. Death by burning at the stake, or death by beheading? Beheading na, isang ganoon lang, tapos na, di ba yung may nakutalo? So pinakommute niya na death by beheading. Kaya lang, tinamihan kaya that by learning pa rin ang nangyari kay Sir Betis. Sixteenth century, you need to learn, by the time of the sixteenth century, the Nicene and Calcedonian Orthodoxes were still in place, no? And recognized that by both Catholics and Protestants, and you want to have a process nila, people who teach us otherwise, let them be a nothing now. You see this really also about it? May protect siya na sa lalo, may mas rebuti yung mga na para i-bucket mo yung body, kurusahan mo yung body, baka sakaling ma-salvage pa yung spirit. Kaya may justification sila sa corporeal punishment. I'm changed, no? By the time of the Enlightenment, I'm talking about Enlightenment's religious wars, fanaticism, and ISIS style killing. So they put a left religion, rational and voluntary, no? Na hindi institutional, your bold faith and institutional power and church will be brought to bear on the heretics, no? So since then, I've declined my own authority and the church. I'm good in that. Pero naging less yung influence ng theology sa society. But, natin kasi kahit sa university, the theology is the pick of the sciences. Ngayon, hindi ka makakabot ang trabaho sa UP, but theology hindi ka rin mo. Theology? That's the most useless discipline. Pero dati sikat yung mga teologya at sila yung gumagawa ng mga ganyan. Sila yung naging intento ng katangiyan ng Diyos. Walang natawarun ha. Masa? Makakita naman ka, Mr. Pastor.
when the priests were written, it was already the practice of the church to worship Jesus as God. Oh. Except that, hindi siya naman kasundo ko sa language of ano yung obligation yung O, oh, nasa lumalabas kasi, nauna yun. As vital kasi sa expression ng patriot, devotional, liturgical life, no? yung cultus. Kaya yung language, ang worship na sisimula doon. May traces of this, eh. No, may previous to him, actually. No? Kaya may hindi na hindi. Kung binasa niya yung epistle, nasa epistolary pa, pagdating sa to, meron na kaindel. Dahil magkaiba yung, yung texture ng, ng, ng passage. Mas akmat na ipig siya na tayo ng poetry. Kaya iba yung nangita niya, hindi masinsin yung, yung, yung hymn na yun dahil ito po ang poetry. Kaya kung tayo sa wala, may reading siyang kaiba. Sa kami ibang vocabulary. Ibig sabihin, ang galing niya, hindi kaya po, kung di existent na yan, bago pa sulatin yung Pilipians. No? Kasama na yun sa worship life ng simbaro. So mayroon na kagad silang practical theology. So in a way, prayer and liturgy precedes theology. May saying na gano'n sa laki. Pero uh, dahil instinctive pastoral devotional yun, they, they, they can flourish without being precise. Pag nang debate na, Ano eksakto ng ibig sabihin niya, doon na medyo nakakailangan ah, ng no? mm, ganito. So that's, that will be the next stage. Isa pa, ang daming diversity sa Bible eh. Yun ang exciting sa pag-aaral ng Bible eh. Hindi siya systematic. Kaya minsan, may mga tao na mag-emphasize ng ganito eh. Uh, disproportionately, no? medyo rin ang dabay mo. Kaya ang gagawin itong mga bishops, ang tawag nila doon ay rule of faith. The rule of faith is not supposed to replace the scriptures. Kapag alam mo na yung rule of faith, hindi mo nababasahan yung Bible. But the rule of faith is a guide on the major things that you must identify with the Bible. Para yung sense of proportion mo, hindi malihis yung, yung Dahil, di ba, dami nagbabasa ng Bible, no? Wow, sa dami ng mga style ng pagbasa ng Bible, pala yung kung kukulektahin mo lahat ng mga paninindigan na yan mula sa kanyang pagbasa, pala yung sobrang dami. At mayroon, hindi pantay-pantay ang quality. May mahina, may malakas. Depende sa galing ng hermeneutics. So, yung mga galing ng hermeneutics, nagpaon na sila pag-aralan na yung Bible, ilista yung major themes niya. Ang sa kaya, yung less capable of making the same quality reading can be guided accordingly by those who are better skilled no, in reading the text. Yung ba, yung marunong mag-read, yung marunong mag-hibu, tulad ni Lajero, o yung nagtatranslate sa Lingua Franca, ay consistent translate sa Latin. So, yun yung function nito ng mga trade na to. They are not supposed to replace the scriptures. And they themselves know the scriptures should be uh, the classic originals. No? They are talaga ang raw materials ng theology. But that uh, bewildering diversity niya that we just have to put some order. Now, well, well, maybe I'll need to say one tradition. One well, of the most succinct, succinct uh, Creed will be the Westminster Catechism. Why don't I make Westminster shorter catechism? It comes in the form of question and answer. What is the chief end of man? What the end of man is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. As simple as that. What is God? God is a spirit. Infinite, eternal, and unchangeable. That's a no absolute adjectives. Infinite, eternal, unchangeable is being, wisdom, power, holiness, justice, goodness, and truth. So it's such a short, concise statement. You've got a full blown workable definition of God in all God's perfections and eternities or infinities. Absolute God. 
So yun yung re-recite ng Catechumen kapag ka bago siya ma-protest mo. So kahit di pa niya nabasa yung Bible, alam mo niya na ito yung klase ng Diyos. At di ba ito pa? Sa mga statement ng mga fathers ng mga priests, parang hindi sila dumating sa punto of seeing the substance of God as being the relationship. Hindi. Oh, my God. 
Hindi pa po. Kaya yung pang 2,000, parang may isang buo. Ano ito ba? Pumunta kami sa Lubao, Pampanga. Ang patron doon. Alam niyo ba kung siya? San Agustin. Kaya nakakarap doon sa kapal ng kahoy ng pinto ng simbahan. Classic na stereotype figure niya. Augustin. Na hawak-hawak niya yung isang malakong building dito representing the church, the doctor of the church. Sana yung interview ko yung mga nagsisimba doon. Alam niyo ba? Yung obtainity ni Augustin psychological hypostasis yung person. By the way, na ito, komplikado yun. Kaya, actually, hindi rin sumikat yung Augustin, maliban sa professional theologians. Mas, dahil hindi nakakreed yung kay Augustin, na nakakreed yung may siya. Kaya yun yung talaga, kahit paano nire-recite. So there are people, and from there on, I mean, in some ways, that is supposed to actually struggle with the language. Kaya, mas familiar ang mga tao dito is sa Trinity in Augustine. May natawag na rito na nag-plaspin na siya sa Augustine at ang Kurti Roman yun sa mga. Power to see your body speaking. Step of pressure. So, when I keep going in, I think it's a big thing. I think I recognize the person or the God, the part of God that's in me. Because it's not a person, it's only a power. So, you know, don't let that in the past. It's a manifestation. The, the power manifestation of God, yun yung spirit. Yeah. Hindi ka yeah. yeah. Hindi natin masisi dahil kung titingan mo, yung, yung dami ng mga passages where one can actually deduce the Holy Spirit to be a person, napakakaunti compared sa pa, uh, obviously person si Jesus, obviously person of Father. Pero sa Holy Spirit, hindi ganun katapos. So, um, ako, I'm not too strict on that day. Eh. Isa rin mong observation, I will declare it a uh, heresy. Um, ako lang, uh, dahil mapanuri lang, hindi pag yun sa usapin ng worship o essence ng faith. Descriptively, mga sarili, magbawang may dahilan kung bakit hindi nila narating yung to grant status of personhood sa, sa Holy Spirit. Kaya hindi ganun kagami yung inang passages to really clinch the, the issue unlike when you're dealing with Jesus or the Father. Or the Spirit, hindi naman nang nagamit sa Diyos. Nakakipag-usap sa Diyos. Nandiyan lang siya. Sarap ang katayoan nyo. Sige lang, kawal tuloy-tuloy tayo. Pagka total portable naman itong bike ko. May mindset kayo, just race it. So sir, upper steam pala kayo? Upper steam? Hindi. Pero ano ko, nagpasinated ako ko sa kay Augustine. So, tayo sa ginawa niya na hindi siya kratisfied dito eh. Kaya humanap na siya ng ibang paraan para maipaliwala kayo. Kaya mahirap ito ang parahin ng pagpapaliwala. Kaya hindi naging familiar po. So yung popularization ng Augustine and World of Matrina hindi gano'ng magpapaliwala.
even in the research regarding the other apostles we are doing. Jesus said it. So Eli, in the school of Thomas, um, should be taken more seriously. But I'm not going to go to the Gnostic tradition. I'm not going to go to the Gnostic Jesus. I'm going to go to the Jesus Seminar. Jesus Seminar is not going to go to the historical quest, the quest for the story of Jesus, which came uh, in waves. No? And in waves, I'm going to go to the Albert Schweitzer, and of course, second wave. Third way, within the third way, we have an offshoot of the Jewish seminar. It's not a good idea, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. So, we have to use a few theologians, it's not a good idea, 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 it's not a good idea. So, if I'm going to speak at the Jewish seminar, I'm going to speak at the Jewish seminar. Now, I'm going to speak at the Jewish seminar. Pagkakala lang yung lahat muli yung four gospels at ginagdol pa nila yung gospel of four months. So, nagdolay sila ng mga basic judgment kung ano yung accuracy as far as the sayings reflecting the very saying of Jews. And then, ang title ng mga summary nila na ay five gospels. Kaya sinama nila yung gospel of four months to put in a Gnostic perspective. Gnostic kasi, kakaiba-kakaiba yun kaysa dun sa traditional caster. Yung Gnostic, yung traditional classic humanity of Jesus ay parang undermined. Kaya nalesan yung humanity ni Jesus doon, natira yun as ano niya, divinity. So, parang dissetic siya in a way. Tapos, yung wisdom ko, mas privately binibigay sa halip na publicly uh, develop or public, publicly broadcast uh, assuming with the assumption that it is being offered to everyone. So no stick na eh. Deterministic na eh. Kung sino yung dinaluyan ng process na yun, yung kalunungan ng bilitans. Kaya ang taas na lang, hanapin yung ele. Um, gumawa ng muna. Yun ang sagasal ng Thomas. Kaya siguro nilagay doon, dahil sa tingin nila, dahil ang namin mga stick calls na yun sa iyo. Sa mga tagpuan niya, hindi sa mga kapit na per Egypt o more than Egypt, eh, parang sa mga yun. Dahil yung mga Christian writings po, tanto siya po yung Christian body. Well, malayo-layo na kaysa doon sa Christianity ng poor gospels na klasik. Yung iba, ang nag-down-down na yung iba. So, <laughs> not to be taken na uh, seriously. Yung uh, ano eh, uh, girlfriend pala niya si, ano, uh, si, si Mary, and so on, so on. Mahal si down-down na, at least yan, ano, pang nalula niya. Ang chore ko, business lang yan. Tradition na lang. Kaya alam ba, pagka nasa pa-ethic ka ng Holy Week, may dalawang parada ron, isang Wednesday, isang Friday. Tapos, at mga parada, may platform ron, yung hermana, nagko-commentaryo doon sa iba-ibang mga disciples. Ano ba, saan napunta si Andrew? O saan napunta yung James? Si Judas Tadeo, sa mga punta. Hindi na ay mong characters na wala doon sa labig dalawa. Pero yun yung mga naging tradisyon na mahirap patunayan kung talaga nangyari. At kung si Thomas, parang natin na sa India. Ito pero may malaking Thomas-like tradisyon doon eh. Kaya sa tingin nila, may chance na parating si Thomas sa India. Mga Thomas na simbahan. Pero yung requirement ng historical validation mo, hindi ganun kapulit-proof kaya it remains uh, uh, possibility, hindi certainty, uh, hindi probability. Oh, mas naon 
na yung kakosa sa screen. Although so, yung version natin ng kakosa sa screen, yung kakosa sa screen kasi, ano, tingin nila, as, as early as 2nd century, meron mo. Kaya nga, yung version natin, ay late yung, yung um, manuscript na pinanggalihan, yung century na pinanggalihan ng manuscript na oldest, uh, later na, no, 13th century. Kaya wala tayo ng gamit talaga sa, second century. Pero dahil underdeveloped yung language, yung teorya nila, at, uh, yung Apostle Street, na forma yun, before may siya sa para falsibang. Pero ito, why this circulated? Dahil it enjoys the uh, bureaucracy, bureaucratic support ng empire. So talagang kakalat yan. So kung kumalat yan, tapos yung Apostle Street ay kasabayan. Mahirap isipin na hindi naapektuhan yung Apostle Street nitong mga mas advanced na theological concerns sa Trinity. So ang teorya nila ron, the Apostle Street precedes the uh, Isin and Chalcedonian Creed. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified and buried. But the instructor niya, very, very simple. <laughs> Apostles, we can bear outline of events of the in Jesus. Oh, 
kind of interpret ni, ni Arius to stay closer to the language of scripture kesa dun sa o oh, mas uh, consistently metaphysical ng Alexandria. Ay, yun yung magkaibang temper ng dalawa. Pero sa mga pets, uh, mas malapit si Constantine eh. Kaya mayroong sinala yung ilang historians na uh, 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 influenza ng Alexandria yung takbo na. Sila so, uh, yung atonations ng tatawagang na uh, tumitado sa Alexandria. Sa so, siyempre, ito, uh, in fairness, talaga may political service yun. Si, si Constantine. He would that we in the side of the Catholic law. He may throw his weight for the bishops to actually keep up it, no? Gawin uh, nyo, gawin nyo ng buwa kaya, o hindi pwede nang iiwan bikin niya. That's not good for the unity of the empire. So a certain degree of uh, unity ng Christendom was achieved uh, by Constantine. Or for better or worse. Ito ang usapin niyo kung nakabuti ba ito o nakasama. May mabuti, may, may masama. Hindi na sila persecuted, pero yumaman sila. Ang naram niya naman pag yumaman, delikado eh. Kami, may mga nabalik po kami ng eskwela, Penal School of Theology. Umahala ang mga tao, parang wala ko, ang ganda ng unity niyo. No? Parang hindi kayo namumuliti ka sa isa't isa. Hindi nila alam, pera gano'n. Walang pera, ano pag-aaway ang namin doon? <laughs> Pero ko, may mag-donate sa amin ang sari-sari na at uh, meron na kaming uh, uh, mga magagandang sasakyan, magagandang building. Matatakot ako na hindi na rin maintain yung uh, casual na, na democratic way sa amin doon. Kaya dapat mag-ina tayo doon sa mga gano'ng changes. Eh. And suddenly the church has found themselves shifting from the marginalized and occasionally persecuted to someone getting the attention of the emperor and so the, the, the imperial money is being put into the church no? for some uh, use for social reconstruction. Kaya bigla naglakihan yung property ng Episcopacy. By the time of Reformation, sobra na yun corruption. Yung ba? Kaya na kailangan ng reform ito. Dahil na siya lang na di pa yaman yung mga episcopas. Kaya, yung politika na nila yun, yung, yung ano ba diyan, parang pinagbarasin nila yun, na underground nila yun, mayroong horse hor, hor, deal na nangyayari na pagka mong papalit na ng obispo. Dahil, how to be main visya of a certain episcopas, lalo na kung rich yung episcopas. So, we jack in for position, Jeffrey, and sign away my little. I did prestige and wealth, and it's called the state. Now, accumulate and wealth. Yeah, 
virtues, tradition of Taideya, education of Egypt, kasi Alexander the Great na doon sa kanya. At yung Arete, yung Arete kasi ito yung Diyosa ng, hindi lang kalunda, Diyosa ng excellence and wisdom na pinagsama. So tapos yung four cardinal virtues, ang galing niyang kailang na ito ay spoke of them. Prudence, uh, fortitude, uh, justice, saka temperance. Uh, ang pansin-pansin do, walang love, walang humility. No? Which are, and faith. Which are Christian virtues. No? Faith, hope, love, diba? Sa first point and second. Nakatawa, anong kinawa ng simbahan dito? The church recognized din naman na uh, yung four cardinal virtues are so essential. She's talaga sila kaya cardinal eh. No? Ibig sabihin naman, no, yung talaga yung nagpapagalaw. Pag, pagka stable yun, gagalaw na maayos yung lahat ng mga parts. And the church uh, discerned na they have nothing against them. No? Ito mga virtues na to. Kaya uh, they are willing to actually admit them, the virtues. So, however, those virtues can find resonance sa iba pang mga virtues sa uh, New Testament. No? Like wisdom, literature, prudence. Tapos yung perseverance, very important to do. Siyempre, justice, magkakapareho. Self-control, temperance. No? So, overlap yun. So, mayroon naman i-dramatize yung distinction. Kaya lang, talaga kung mayroon dagdag yun. Yung tulad niya, hindi may isip nila ang stalker yun na yung weakness of humility ng child. Ilalagay mo. Sa kaya lang fortitude, no? yung maturity sa kayo, advanced thinking, sa kayo able to rule, no? which, which are businesses, the business ng adult yan. No? Kasi biglang, kaya nga yun, kahit na sa Old Testament patriarchy, nasa pag ng bata, sabay bigit, biglang binigay niya na yung bata sa kalagit na maliba na lang, eh. tulad tayo niya. No? Tapos yung deny self, no? walang may panggano masyado kay, uh, kay, kay Aristotle. Affirmation, assertion talaga ng power ng sarili. Ha? Kaya lang, you have to be wise. No? Assert yourself and be wise. No? Kailangan mo kasi assert sarili mo. Otherwise, uh, hindi mo makakontrol, maguli yung mundo. Kaya ito yung super key. So, may mga debate kung ano eh, dahil na hindi ganun kaklaro na superior yung Christianity. Dahil sa track record din ng ang Diyos, ang dami rin kapalbakan. So, ang nangyari, ang magandang nangyari ito, kinilala mo din for cardinal virtues, dinagdag nila at ginawa pang pundasyon nila yung three theological virtues. Kaya ngayon, pag bumili tayo ng katikisip, official, but that means a virtues, have this mind in you, which is also in class, dahil sa class mga virtues na ito, tapos bigla nila ipapasok yung for cardinal virtues, a classic, kaya sa open. Sa ano din nila yung faithful love, Sure, fire na naman. Because the Bible itself also affirms the four cardinal virtues. All of the Greeks had to be taught the virtues of faith, hope, and love, and humility. So, yung self, uh, self denial, take up your cross. See, it means you na ayaw mo eh. Well, you can glorify mo yung weakness. Timidity. Sa kanya, hindi maganda yun. Parang over man eh. Asserting na magaling na tao na willing to make sacrifices but also to grab control when necessary. So yun yung tinitip lang ito sa group ng, ng virtues dito sa mga yung Hellenization sa ito. Yung mixture ng dalawa. Ang magandang combination doon, hindi lang itatapon yung Greek. Eh. And the church has actually discovered it. Si Michelangelo, ang pinakamakay ng demonstration nito dapat. Tinigyan mo yung design ni Angelo sa pinagsama niyo yung pagans at yung ano eh. O yung Christian tradition. Kaya, yung mga pumasok na conservative, mga kita nila yung system chapel, may scandal eh. Of course, that's Michelangelo. Can I ask that one and share this? Or coming from the country? I've been reading the New Testament, for example, rather than the Gospel. We know it's the latest passage of the four Gospels. At the very beginning, John uses some kind of physical 
tulong. Ayun, salamat po sa matyala ng kaya ko po ng mga estudyante ko. Nung sa team kasi natin, tinutubugan naman niya. Kaya ko, you will remain very much sure. Ikaw lang, kaya na tayo sa prayer. And then let's commit ourselves to study scriptures and to grow in adequacy in the way that we talk about our faith. And for that matter, in how we understand it. Always focusing on Jesus, the author and perfect. Salamat sa hapong ito, Panginoon, na pinagay ka namin na gamit ng theology sa pagliliwanan ng kami ang mga pinanigiwala bukod sa activity ng isip ng kasong ayos na namin tignan kung paano ito ay i-perform sa aming puso, kalawalang character mismo ang Diyos na ipakita ng isip. Luhan mo pa rin kami na yung mga virtues na nataan ang dinamin o gnayin na mahayag na yung sus ng mga kahit yung kababaan ng loob ipangkita sa mga bata sa kasayahan nilang kapatang nila ng kiyami sa mga bagay ba na siya ang learning curve nila optimism nila ang tries yung sense of vulnerability making them trust people and recognize community value relationship lumang mo kami lumago yung tipang mabuo ang virtues lumang ang humility prudence fortitude, justice temperance, straightforward quality, hapit na at ang espiritu ay isa ang buwan ang espiritu hindi namin Patuloy ito sa aming ilo. Salamat sa hapon ito, sa pangalala ng Sosyal. Amen. 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 Am